We've been using pretty amazing music for this series of vlogs and I'm not saying this to brag for myself but to praise the amazing music producers who contribute their, their work for the Waga Pies. And today I'm happy to announce we have a new guy joining the ranks of our music producers, Flat. <laughs> I'm going to a barbecue today and I don't know much about the barbecue. I don't know who it's hosted by. I know basically nothing other than they have this really cool YouTube video. It keeps kind of going like this. I'm going with Gamma and another friend and I'm excited to see who's actually hosting this because I really enjoyed that video. And you. And we're about an hour outside of the city, so it's a totally different atmosphere out here. Considering how far out of the city we are, though, it's still pretty condensed over here. Um, like, there's apartment buildings that are 10 stories high, 8 stories high. This gives you an idea of how populated this country is. Okay, cicada in Japanese is semi. Do you like the sound of cicada? Yes, because semi? it's the sound of summer here. But I don't like looking at them. Why don't you like looking at them? It's disgusting, it's insects. Ew. <sighs> you can smell the barbecue. Yes. Hey, what's up? We're at Ty's place. What's good? We're filming a video. What, what is, what's going on right now? What's going on right now? Well, we got a very good mix of foreigners and Japanese people. It's a beautiful kind of event. So we're grilling, we're drinking, we're chilling on Sunday fun day. What up? Get at me. Mike, peace. <laughs> It's gonna like clean up very, very soon. It's the first day in a very long time that I don't have anything to do, and I appreciate it very much. I've been meeting new people all the time, talking to everybody, which is great, it's awesome, but you know, everybody needs time to chill down sometime. The thing I like about Korea is that they always give you a bottle of water. In the meantime, no resolution between North Korea and South Korea. This is called bulgogi. I think I never really explained the basics of eating in Korea, metal chopsticks. Then you always get a spoon too. Nowadays it seems it's really up to you whether what you eat with the spoon and what you choose to eat with chopsticks. There's no really strict rules about that, so it's very con convenient. Usually you eat rice with a spoon in Korea. I think it's just more practical because this type of rice that's served in, um, in Korea, it's not as convenient to eat with chopsticks. Another thing is the size. When you go to a restaurant in Korea you always get free sides that are unlimited. When you finish a plate you can just ask for more. And this usually includes a few types of kimchi and some pickled vegetables. You also have to keep in mind Korea is much cheaper than Japan when it comes to food and the serving size is considerably bigger. I can't finish that. We are at Thai's house. Um, our friend Thai. So this is a barbecue and we're supposed to get some food but we haven't gotten around to it yet. He's gotten the closest with the plate, but still no food. Managed to get my hands on some food. <laughs> This is my last day in the Taiwan area and this is the area that I've been hanging around most of the time the last week. Now it's Sunday afternoon. That's like it's crowded but it's not overwhelming.
what I appreciate very much about saw is all the street food they can have because you don't normally get that in Japan as much and the food scene is more dynamic here there's trends getting popular all the time and one of these trends is churros right now so I'm gonna try the one of the mo more popular places uh, for churros so this is a small coffee <laughs> if I was still in Japan this would be like extra extra large I'm not doing anything else today. I need to rest. We borrowed this watermelon by um, you, Yuri, Yori, Yori Hop. Yeah. You mean this on the way? Oh yeah, that's yeah. Where's Gamma? Sure, we went home. Bye. Bye. This is my last night in Taiwan, and I was staying with Noel, uh, and she's a very good host on Airbnb. I'm gonna link this house uh, in the description so you can check it out. It's time for supper. I'm gonna go with something local. This is the bulgogi flavored sandwich. KFC in Asian countries. Look at this, this is the hot stripe, right? And it doesn't have the proper spicy crust. Like the whole point of this place is the spicy crust. Huge disappointment. Seems like all I filmed today was food, but also it's all I did today. It was an amazing day. Goodbye.